Oh yeah, that's a good one. Mommy's got a good one. Keep your rod to up. Oh, you got the whale. Yeah. Oh, I want you to Okay, he's coming towards you. Hey, now let him go. Yeah, yeah, he's still in there. Yeah, 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 Good job, mommy. Yeah, just when it, when it, you put your head underneath it. Don't, don't let it spin fast. Just like let it spin slow, slower so it doesn't get dragged like that. That's enough whale. whale. Oh, my heart is kind of racing, guys. <laughs> because mom's got a big fish. Yeah, he's tiring out now. So just keep the, and, and keep the tip on. Yeah, okay, now when that flasher comes up, it's gonna get loose. So uh, he's running a little bit. I saw him. Okay, so when that flasher comes up, you kind of gotta reel really fast because it's gonna go loose because the line swings over to the fish. See, it's gonna, it's gonna come up. That's what I mean. You gotta lift it, pay attention when that flash is gonna pop. It's gonna pop. Then you gotta keep it tip up. Yeah, that layer, reel, reel, reel. Yeah. Really, will keep it reeling. You gotta keep cranking, keep that tip up. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, That's mom's biggest, probably. Oh man, look at that one. Big hatchery, yeah, you know. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> look at this fish. I was just saying, our counter battery died, and we had a double header. The girls both caught this Cali and Sierra. I put a new battery in, and then this thing came along, and mommy landed it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired? No. no? Okay. <laughs> oh, good job. It must have been hooked pretty decently. Let's see, on this Gibbs, Gibbs Skinny G, that's what they're going for today. I just matched the hatch. Oh yeah, he was hooked. He wasn't getting anywhere. Oh man, that thing's huge. Oh yeah, look, look how that hook was buried in him. That's good. That's why he wasn't going anywhere. Look at that. Gibbs Skinny G. Okay. Does anyone want a big fish? Oh, oh. Well, it's another big one. Can I reel it? Yeah, yeah, another big one. Can I? Is it your turn to go? Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. I gotta loosen this tension. There you go, there you go. <laughs> there must be tons in here. We just hooked up that beast. And Callie's got another. Okay, lift that tip up. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Do your good job, Callie. You're gonna do a good job. You got it. You got it. Oh, look at that jumping. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Get real, get real. Oh man, the land is about to be a miracle. Because when they jump, it's so hard. Yeah. Keep reeling. Okay, keep him coming. He looks tired. Let's run, let him run. Let him go, let him go. Keep cranking, crank, 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 crank. Keep the tension on, keep cranking. Keep cranking, crank, 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 crank. 
Good job. Oh, yeah. Good job, Kelly. Happy. So I just you we just caught the other one. I left the other line down while I was reeling the big one in, and I just put it into gear, and I saw the rod sit started bouncing. Got the second Chinook in a row. There must be lots in here right now. That's the first one. This is the second one. That one's a little bit smaller. Attention, because she can't crank it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're good, you're good, Sierra. Yeah, keep going. Knuckle Buster got her. today got a few chinook for you on camera hope you enjoyed that and um, why don't we run through what we're using right now uh, I'm out here fishing in the Barkley Sound area as you can see we're fishing for chinook salmon so they prefer these exposed rocky kind of reefs and this time of year it's June I'm finding them at depths between 50 to 80 feet of water down on the downrigger. The middle depth 65 feet was working really well for us today. And I just have Gibbs Delta flashers on that one, a green one. And this one uh, is my favorite one for Chinook salmon. It's the purple stripe. Uh, what do they call it? Oh, I can't even remember. It has a nice crystally flash on it, like a purple onion or something. But that's what I have on both. I'm running green and silver spoons to match the little uh, bait fish that are around here in the area. The smaller ones, they're only about, oh, I don't know, three and a half inches long. And the Gibbs Delta, the skinny G, the green and silver as well, like I showed in the video on the fish we caught. And the other one's a coho killer. And both of those have been catching uh, fish really well today. With, uh, I'm not even using scent or anything like I usually put scent on my spoons but I found it really didn't make a difference today they're just feeding so heavily on those bait fish that they don't care 
it's nice when I don't have to use scent because then it's not gonna be all over my hands and messy up the gear. So if I can get away with not using it, then not. But if the day is slow, definitely put on that scent because I think it does help. For running a downrigger, these are the power downriggers by Scotty. Uh, you, you need a weight. I have a 15 pound uh, cannonball braided line. And uh, these these uh, ball pullers work really well. So uh, Scotty sells those as well. I'd highly recommend using those on your downriggers. It makes it much easier to hook up. And then the Scotty clips, the ones with the yellow uh, clamps, those are my favorite. They work really well. And I bury it about uh, halfway, right on the black line in the center. All these ones, I only had a couple pop off today. They're hitting pretty light. They're, sometimes the Chinooks will just grab it and pop it, no problem. But these ones are hitting it, and then there'll be just little jerks there. We pop it off, and it's a big fish. So don't let those little jerks sometimes fool you. Go for it every single time, because it's not always a shaker. It can be a big fish just kind of flipping back there, not knowing what's going on. Okay, so that's... That's uh, Chinook fishing in a nutshell here on Barkley Sound today. You just got to stick in the areas until the fish show up. Sometimes it's right around different tide changes, uh, some bait pushes in, the fish follow them. You never know. So you pick a good location and if you're dedicated, you'll just stick it out until some fish come in. And that's what we did today. We were catching lots of shakers, lots of, you know, one, two year old Chinooks and uh, just under the 45 centimeter uh, keep size. The rest of ours are bigger. We kept one that was like 47 centimeters because it was our, we didn't know how many we were gonna catch and it's our last day. But usually we let those go and keep the ones that are usually six pounds or bigger. So I think the biggest one today will probably go like 22, 23 pounds. So that's pretty good, it was a good day. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can find out when we're posting another video if you like these girls catching fish hit that like button and then go tell a friend and share it with someone else thanks for watching as always guys go catch a big one bye, bye. there he is